Welcome to another Unity tutorial. I'm taking a step aside from my VR tutorial series just briefly because this is a nice quick Pro Builder tutorial and Pro Builder is getting pretty popular in um, the circles that I'm in now. So I thought I'd take a stab at a Pro Builder tutorial. And this is one that I've been using this weekend um, to for a project that I'm working on. And that is using Pro Builder to take a prefab, such as the one that we're looking at, and separating the door. Because originally this door was not separated from the prefab, but I wanted to be able to open and close the door of this house. And then eventually put in an interior and all that. So let's take a look and see how we can do this with Pro Builder. So I'm going to go ahead and delete that house. And one thing I've done, just another quick Unity tip, is um, on your scene you can click this little uh, finger icon and it makes it to where you can't touch anything. Um, cause that can kind of get annoying when you're messing with pro builder. I'm going to go into my project and I'm actually using a pack called the low poly ultimate pack from poly perfect. And I'm just going to look for a house. Um, let's just choose this big house here. All right, there we go. And I'm going to drop that into the scene and let's zero out its location. All right. But this one is rotated the wrong direction for me. So I'm just going to rotate it 180 degrees. All right. Here we go. So we want to be able to take this door, but we can't because this is a prefab and the mesh is all one. Um, so I'm just going to click on the Pro Building House Big. Oh, if you don't know how to get uh, Pro Builder, it's a tool that's free with Unity, but you have to install it. You go to Window, then Package Manager, and then go to Unity Registry, search Pro Builder. There it is. Then you got to go up to this Tools menu, find Pro Builder, and then go to Editors. No, oh, I'm sorry, Pro Builder Window. And then um, you'll get something like this that pops out like that. And then I just like to drag it in down here. Um, whenever you do have Pro Builder open anywhere, you're going to get these new, um, this little Pro Builder toolbar on the scene. And if you have anything selected besides this object select, like if you have vertices select, edge select, or face select, your tools up here, your normal Unity tools for navigating the scene, don't really work well. I mean, the hand's okay, but you cannot use this move tool. Um, so make sure that you get back to object mode. If you want to be able to use the move tool, click on an item, move it around, or you can just right click the pro builder window and close it out. And then that tool goes, toolbar goes away and you don't have to worry about it anymore. Um, which is usually what I do when I'm done with pro builder. I usually close it out. All right. So bringing pro builder down here, we need to click on the object and we can't do anything with it with pro builder. Like I can go to vertices mode and I can't see the vertices click on faces. I can't see the faces. Um, and that's because it's not a pro builder object yet. So we come down here into the Pro Builder window, we click on Pro Builder Eyes, and boom, now we can see the faces. If I switch to vertices, we can see the vertices. When you do Pro Builder Eyes a game object, um, look around. Um, if it's using, uh, if it's material it uses a texture like this one does, okay. Um, make sure that all the faces have the right colors on them. If they don't, you'll want to go into your UV editor here in Pro Builder. Um, Got to go to vertices first. Control A, select all your vertices. UV editor. And um, usually, not always, one way you can usually fix this is by, if it doesn't let you project right away, you can select island, select face, then click project UVs onto box. And that almost always fixes it for me, at least when it comes to low poly models. Otherwise, you can choose the face that's messed up and move it to the color where it should be. All right, so what we want is we want to separate this door from the rest of the house so we can open and close it. So I'm going to go to face select. <laughs> And in this case, it's really easy. Um, maybe I should have chosen a different option, a different house that has a more complicated door. Um, but hey, this works. So I'm just gonna click on the door. Um, one of my, most of the other models in this set, the doors have a little bit more uh, shape to them. So you have like 10, 15 different faces you have to select. So it's nice, this one's easy. I just have a single face to select. And I need to go to, where's detach faces? Right there, detach faces. And so now I have a new game object with the same name as the original. I'm just going to F2 to rename that to door, drag it back into the house so it stays with the house. All right, so here I have my door. If I go to object mode, all right, we can see its pivot point is still way over here, the same place as the rest of the house. So if I try to rotate this door on the Y axis, it's, it's still rotating on that point, and that's not going to work for us. So we're going to click on the door. We're going to go to vertex mode, and we're going to find this vertex here. But be careful, because it's for some reason been liking to switch back to the house. So I'm going to go to the door, vertex mode. And so what I found works is I just click off of it, drag in to get that vertex, and it's not working. What the heck? Door, vertex, door, door. All right, here's what we'll do. Door by itself, 
Vertex. Dang nabbit! Okay, can't touch the house. That'll do it. Door. <laughs> vertex! We did it! Okay, so we have that vertex selected. Why did I select that vertex? Well, because doors have hinges, right? So on one side of this door, I need hinges. And um, I'm just going to use this bottom corner. That's going to be where my hinge is, and that's my pivot point. That's where the door needs to pivot. So I click the vertex, set my pivot point. You can also do it on a face. So let's say you um, had like a, a thick door. This door is just one one face. There is, um, it's not, uh, doesn't have multiple faces for the door. Maybe you wanted that whole side face. If it was a, 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 a cube, you want that side face to be the hinge. You could select it and set it as pivot. And then the center of that face would be the pivot. But for this, I just choose the vertex, set it as the pivot. And let's just drop it back into the house. All right. So now if I click on my door and I rotate on the Y axis, ta-da, I could open and close my door. Awesome! So that's the end of this tutorial. Great, quick, easy way to use ProBuilder to take a prefab asset, take components and faces out of it, detach them, and in this case, we detach the door from a house so that we could then open and close it. Stick around for my other tutorials. I do Unity tutorials, I do Playmaker tutorials, and right now I'm doing a VR series, so if those things interest you, please like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you next time.